Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Puppet Man, a new horror film from writer-director Brandon Christensen. This is coming your way on Shudder, and focuses on an evil entity that basically puppets people and leads to horrific and brutal deaths. And this Puppet Man, connected to a man on death row, he insists that it was the Puppet Man that did this brutal murder, not him, and now this death row inmate's daughter starts to begin to have these same similar experiences as the people around her start dying in the most brutal of ways. Now, this is an interesting concept. It has a cool idea. It definitely has this dark, ominous atmosphere about the film, and there are certainly the big highlights are some of these deaths are crazy brutal, and it's like, feels a bit like Final destination e of like, what kinds of like, weird, crazy, unfortunate accidents can possibly happen to these characters, and they do not shy away from showing the gore, the brutality, the burnt skin, and all kinds of things like that. And I really do feel like those are the things that really stand out in the film. I think the cast is solid. I don't think there's too many performances that really stand out in this. But I feel like most of them are all doing serviceable jobs. There's a few characters, like some veteran actors, who have some more like supporting roles to kind of bolster the film. It does lean on a lot of horror tropes. Even all the way up to what I felt like was a decent decent decently unsatisfying kind of ending where it just felt like it was being lazy let's set up for a potential sequel horror movie fodder and really undercut some of the big advancements in terms of the story i do feel like the concept like i said was a cool idea and the setup the execution's pretty mundane and run-of-the-mill in terms of what you'd see from a horror film. Most of the things that stand out in this film, like I mentioned, are the kills, and they're pretty uncomfortable and grotesque to watch. I think Christensen builds up a decent amount of suspense and tension in those sequences and delivers some pretty grotesque payoffs as well. So, really, in the end, I feel like this film is more of a average, run-of-the-mill type of horror film with a few little things here and there that really stood out. But if you're really into horror and tis the season, head over to Shudder and this give this one a watch. But those are my thoughts on The Puppet Man. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.